Hey guys, what's up? This is ScribbleTag here, and today we're going to be talking about how to control your Mac, specifically in this video, the Mac, how to control it with an iPhone or with an iPad or an iPod Touch, any of those devices that can have iOS apps on them. So let's get started. We're actually going to head over to the computer first. So when we're here, we're going to want to open up an application called iReceiver. The link to download this will be in the description. So we can go ahead and open that up. Now you can see it'll open up. There's no legitimate window, but this is literally all you need is just to have it open. What this will do is it'll allow you to connect to your computer using your iOS device. So next we're going to take a look on how to do this with the iOS device. So first we're going to take the iPhone. Now you're going to need to download an app called Wi-Fi Touchpad. You can see it on my screen probably right here. It is the blue icon and we're going to go ahead and tap that right about there. Now when you tap that you're going to be presented with this screen where you are to choose your local IP address of the computer hosting the iReceiver. It'll show up there and when you do that you will be given this screen here. The screen is the touchpad. So you can see on the screen that my mouse is indeed moving two hands in the air up, down, left, right. So it also has buttons to click. Let's see if I can get a kind of hard. There we go. Here we go. You can see I'm dragging the box around there. Um, we have volume up and down. Mute. And we have a keyboard that we can pop up here. So I could go open that, escape. You know, it's, it's very nifty. So we're going to go ahead and click. You can also do double tap to clip to click, which is very useful here as well. And you can see it's a very simple designed app. So, now with that, we're going to close that out. And notice it just gains control right back. Next, we're going to take the iPad here. And I'm pretty low on battery, but let's find where I put that at. Here it is. It's touchpad free. It'll be this black icon right here. And when you open it up, you're given a very similar screen here, except with the keyboard built in. So you have a very large single button trackpad here. It's really easy, and again, you can, you know, open things like I can open that. You can also go like that. And it's, whoops, there we go. And, you know, it's pretty useful to have. So with that, I will call that a good demonstration that you needed. Um, if you guys have any questions on these, you can ask me, but links to download these apps will be in the description down at the bottom. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been a Scribble Tech video, and I hope you enjoyed. Please watch our other videos, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks.